So as you can see down here, the high water in the springtime had rutted out this approach here to the bridge. And on the other side of the bridge, I need to explain what happened over here. That lone tree that is left over here is actually an apple tree. And ever since we've lived here, that tree's been overgrown and the grapevines grow up it and it just doesn't do very well. It produces terrible apples. And I decided this year that I'd go ahead and trim this thing up. If you look down at the bottom, you can see where I've trimmed out the largest section of the tree. And if I stand on the bridge, it used to overhang the trail right here. And in addition to that, there was a, a section right here where the dirt had been built up and it looked like this had been carved away to make an approach to this bridge. And ever since we've lived here, it's been just a little path that you kind of had to hover over on this left side to get through here. And I've always wanted to clean this out. The next step that's not gonna be in this video is gonna be to clean this ditch out a little bit better. This ditch drains this field, or a part of this field, I guess. And this field used to be, before I owned the property, it used to be a farm field. And I'm less concerned about this laying a little bit wet now, not for crops, but more just accessing my trail. If I walk back here, you'll be able to see when we get a rain, so you can see it right there. My trail sits a little bit wet in a few spots. And really all I care about is keeping the trail dry. There's a lot of this field out here that sits wet and it can sit wet, that's all right. I'm not a farmer, so it doesn't really matter to me. But this area directly by the bridge and my trail, I would like to keep dry. So that work that you just seen me do that was for the purpose of just improving this little section of uh, bridge approach and clearing out the edge of this ditch so that I can come back and, and make this ditch improved. And of course this single tree here. I'm excited to see this thing hopefully take off and produce some fruit now. Maybe not this year, but next year perhaps. So not a whole lot of discussion in that video, just getting right to it and getting it done. So that's going to be it for this one. I am on to another project. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a video of that too. So stick around. We'll see you on the next one.